Hi, hello, welcome to Mass Guru channel. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. In this video, I am going to explain 10th class Mass State Syllabus Venn Diagrams. Let us discuss what is the Venn Diagram, how we can uh, draw the Venn Diagram for the given questions. Okay, see here. Already I wrote a few important points. Venn Diagrams. Let us learn when Euler diagrams or simply Venn diagrams. Actually, this name is Venn Euler diagrams. Simply, we can call it as Venn diagrams, right? It is one of way of representing the relationship between sets. It is the one of the way of representing relationship between the sets. These diagrams generally consist of rectangles and circles. This the Venn diagrams consist of what uh, what are the shapes rectangle shapes and circle shapes mainly okay next universal set is represented by rectangle rectangle is that uh, we can use for universal set that is mu mu is the universal set now how to represent that uh, basic uh, Venn diagrams for the given questions let us see okay here give uh, this is the question universal set mu is given it consists of 10 numbers okay a is given even numbers up to 10 venn diagram for this how to draw the venn diagram for the sets universal set and set a so here always universal set is represented by rectangle Okay, that you should remember. Just to simply I am drawing. But when you are drawing, better to use the scale for rectangle. Okay, this is the mu. Next, this is the A. Set A I am drawing. This is set A. Sets, we are using rectangles and circles I said now in the Venn diagrams. That only I am drawing. Now, here A. A having 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Na. So, here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. These are the set A. Consist of set A. Those numbers. So, except these numbers from the set mu. Universal set. 2 over 4 over 6 over 8 over 10 over. Remaining Numbers we should write. C1 is not there. So 1 is the in the universal set. 3 is in universal set. Okay. 1 is not there. 3 is not there. Next 5 not there. 5 is universal set. In It consists of in universal set. Okay. 7, 8 is there. 9 not there. So, so what are their uh, elements in set A? Okay. First we should write. Then remaining numbers we should write in the universal set. Like this we can represent the Venn diagram for the given sets. Okay. Next. See. This is how to represent Venn diagrams for this. Here given universal set and set A, set B. And one hint is given B is subset of A. So, okay. So, how to write the Venn diagram for this. Very simple. Here first take set B. Why? Because set B is the subset of A. So first set B take it 4 and 6 are there. Okay. Next you should take set A. Should take set A. This rectangle is mu universal set. In set A what it is there? Already 4 and 6 is there in the set A. So, except 4 and 6, 2, 8, 10 we can write in set A. 2, 8, 10. It will come under only set A. Okay. So, 2, 8, 10 in the set A. Set B already there 4 and 6. So, total together in set A. Okay. Next, here... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 over na. Remaining numbers from the universal set we can write in the universal set. 
okay so one is not there one three five seven okay nine one three five seven nine okay these are their remaining numbers in the universal set okay i hope you understand next question next is see here given that a set given b set given for these two sets how to write the venn diagrams okay here <coughs> a b c here c d e f means only one is common here right first take the set a set b okay here a here b for a and b which is common c is common so right this is the common region of a and b okay now here a b here c sir c is already we wrote d e f in the set b in set a a b for both the sets common element is c like this we can write the venn diagram okay next to one concept to be missed that disjoint set Dis what is the disjoint set actually if any two uh, sets not having any common elements then the two sets we can call disjoint sets see if there are no common elements in the given two sets such sets are called disjoint sets okay so here this is the definition of disjoint set a set a consists of these elements set b consists of these elements elements in the sense generally we can call it as word element but element place we can take any number alphabet uh, or names any okay now a intersection b a intersection b is equal to pi why because there are no common elements now see one three five intersection means what common elements only we can take here is there any common numbers these are odd numbers these are the even numbers there are no common numbers in the both the sets so which is equal to pi pi is empty set now that's what next venn diagram for this how to draw set a set b this is the universal set this is set a this is set b set a having odd numbers set b having even numbers so a intersection b is equal to pi okay i hope you understand thank you for more videos subscribe my channel support me and share to your friends relatives and tell them to subscribe thank you